हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लाउड बिक यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ मनोज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट और डिलीट माइग्रेशन एंड पॉइंट्स इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस 365 सो लेट्स सी फर्स्ट वी नीड टू गो टू द एडमिन सेंटर वंस वी एंटर इनटू द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 एडमिन सेंटर वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन सो ऑल देन स्क्रॉल डाउन एंड क्लिक ऑन एक्सचेंज now we are in the exchange admin center here you can see the option of migration click on migration option to open the migration window here you can see the option of endpoints here so click on endpoints now the endpoints window will open so we need to click on add option in this window we need to select the migration endpoint type so first is exchange remote second is outlook anywhere third is google workspace and fourth is of imap so if you are performing hybrid migration then you need to choose exchange remote or if you are performing staged or cutover migration then you need to choose outlook anywhere and if you are performing google workspace to microsoft 365 migration then you need to choose google workspace or the last option is for imap so if you are choosing to migrate your imap emails then you need to choose imap and uh, one of more option that is not present here is for cross tenant migration and the creation of migration endpoint for cross tenant migration is only possible from windows powershell so we will choose here imap and let me show you how to create migration endpoint for imap email so we will name it as migration so here we need to select imap server so we will put here imap server of gmail so here you need to select authentication as basic encryption as ssl and you need to check this box for accept untrusted certificates in the port section we do not need to change anything here settings are perfect so click on the create button as you can see here it is creating migration endpoint now our migration endpoint has been created successfully let's go back and see here you can see the migration endpoint is created successfully so with these steps you can create migration endpoint for your migration so once you have completed your migration you need to delete this migration endpoint so let me show you how to delete migration endpoint simply choose the endpoint and click on delete button it will ask for your permission confirm here and you can see the operation successful go back and see if migration endpoint is deleted or not as you can see here the migration endpoint is successfully deleted so with these easy steps you can create or delete any migration endpoint so thank you guys for watching the complete video i hope this video has helped you in creating or deleting migration endpoint don't forget to like and subscribe our channel also follow us on other social media platform social media links are in the description